Yo, what's good guys, Theo here. In this video, I'm going to do a full implementation of a linked list. So um, I'm getting these implementations off this algo class, data structures, linked list, JS on GitHub. Um, and I'm not sponsored, but this is from the front end master's course on uh, JavaScript data, structure, data structures and algorithms by Bianca Gandolfo. So here are the methods we're gonna implement on our linked list. We're gonna implement for each, print, insert after, remove after, insert head, Remove head, find node, append to tail, insert before, and remove before. And I don't think we're going to have a tail because this is not going to be a doubly linked list. But other than that, we will uh, work on implementing all of these methods. So first, let's build out our linked list. To do this, we're going to create first a node class. Okay. And this node class is basically just going to have a, a value which is going to be the value that we pass in and it's going to have a next value which is going to be set to null originally let me make sure that's right and it's .next is that value and then finally we're going to have a linked list class okay and I don't think this takes anything head value we're not going to have a head we're just going to have this head equal to be null and this dot size is going to be equal to that for now so let's build out our methods okay so um, the first one we're gonna build out is for each or actually we're not gonna build out that we're gonna build out insert after so insert after is insert new new associated with value passed in after reference node so here we can do linked list dot prototype dot insert after and again all this takes is a value bring this right here and we will make this a little bigger for us and so the way this will work guys is we'll say if there's not a head if not this dot head then this is the base case the easy case if there's not a head then what we can do is we can say this dot head is equal to a new node with the value and then we can just return this otherwise you say var current equals this dot head. We can say while current dot next, while the head has an next property, we're going to keep iterating. Or while the node has an next property, and inside of here we're just going to say current is equal to current dot next. Once we break out of here, we can say current dot next is equal to a new node with the value, and we'll just return this. Um, so that's our insert after method rid of these in here. Uh, next up guys, what we want to do is remove after. So remove node after the ref node. Okay. Um, so in this case, actually I think I messed up. So we're going to insert after. So once we reach this node, uh, if it's not the head, then we're going to insert after function value. Let me go back here. Uh, insert node associated with value passed in after ref node. Oh, so we need, sorry, ref node and a value. So this will take in a ref node and a value. Um, so this is not actually a pen, my bad. So what we can do here is we can say var current was this dot head. And inside of here we can do var count equals zero, or actually we can do well current dot next. And we could say if current uh, is equal to ref node else. Um, current equal to current at max. And so if it is equal to the ref node that we're looking for, what we can do is we can say uh, var ref is equal to current, and then we can say uh, var node is equal to a new node with the value passed in. Okay, and then we can say um, we can do node.next is going to be equal to uh, the ref.next and then we can also say ref.next is equal to node. So now we tie that up and then we can just return this. All right, now let's work on linked list.prototype.remove and let me go back and this one is remove after. And this will just take in a ref node 
again, this is a function. Sorry, I messed that up. Let's take some of the ref node. So basically here, what we need to do is do the same thing. So we can save our current. So this dot head, we can say while current dot next. We can say if current is equal to the ref node. Then what we're going to want to do is say var next is equal to current dot next. Um, and actually, we want to remove after. So let me go back here and let me understand this. So this will be remove node after the ref node. Okay, so next is equal to current dot next. Um, var after next is equal to next dot next. So we'll need that. And what we can say here is we can say um, next is equal to null. And then we can say current um, dot next is equal to after next. There we go. And then we'll just return this. Um, we could return false if we don't find it. So let's remove after. Next up, we will do insert head. So insert new head at the beginning of the list. Okay, so here we can do a linked list dot prototype dot insert head. Here we go. And this is a function which is going to take in a value. And so we're going to save our head is equal to um, this dot head, assuming there is one. Um, I guess, you know, this is the base case. If not this dot head, we can just say this dot head equals a new node with the value. Um, else, what we can do down here is we can grab this. Our head is equal to this dot head, but we actually want to insert this value. You can say our node equals a new node with the value. And instead of here, let me get rid of that. Rid of that. What we can actually do um, now, what we want to do is say, um, so here's the current head, current head, var node, and we can say this dot head is equal to node, and then we can say this dot head dot next is equal to um, current head, and then we can say current head dot next is equal to um, what do we want to say the current head dot next is equal to? Well, actually, we want, we want to do var next is equal to current head dot next. Um, so here we can actually set current head dot next to equal to next, and we could just return this. All right, so that should work. Next up is remove head, remove the head node of the linked list. Okay, so let's do this linked list dot prototype dot remove head. Is a function. So in here we can say, if not this dot head, let's just return no head on our linked list. Else, uh, we could say var head is equal to um, this dot head. And now we can say var next is equal to head dot next. And here we can just say um, head equals null. And we can say this dot head equals next. Or, yeah, this dot head equals next. And uh, then we can say, um, I guess that's all we need to do, right? And then we can just return this. Unless I'm wrong, I think that's right, though. So that's it for remove head. Uh, next up, we want to do a find node. First node that has a value, uh, value matching what we passed in. So we can do linked list.prototype. A find node is a function. What are we passing it? Let me go back here and look. Uh, let's take some fruit. Value matching what we passed in. Value, okay. So here we can just say if this dot head is equal to the value. Um, I guess what we can say here is, or we can say this dot head dot value is equal to the value. Return this dot head. Then it is the head node, otherwise, we're going to save our current equals this dot head, and we're going to say while well, current dot next, we can say if current dot value is equal to the value, uh, return 
current. Uh, otherwise, return false because we haven't found the node. And let's see what else we have. Drop prototype. What else do we have? Append to tail and remove tail. We're not doing that. So insert before and remove before. Okay, so let's look at those. Insert before. Okay, so now we're going to do insert before before function function value. And what we can do here is insert new node with associated value before ref node. So this will take in a ref node and a value. Again, same sort of pattern that we're looking for here. We can just say if, um, let's see, what did I do here? It's for insert head, insert head, insert after. Okay, so we can say var current equals this dot head. And we can say while current dot next. Then we can say if current is equal to the ref node. Okay, if we found it, we'll just do a return false there. Um, we can do, we can say current gives current dot next. Make sure I have that up here. Current dot next equals after x or current dot next plus current equals current dot next. Okay, cool. Just make sure I have this implementation right. So if it is equal to the ref node, and we now we want to insert before, so we say var temp equal to current and uh, what we can do actually is we can say we want to insert before. So now what we can do is we can do var node equals a new node with the value. And instead, we can say, um, what do we want to do? If current is equal to the ref node, and we want to insert it before the, this current value, then now we can say, um, I guess this only makes sense with this uh, doubly linked list, huh? So we're not going to do that, actually. Print five node, insert before, remove four. So I don't think, let me look at the uh, solutions here real quick. Insert, remove head, remove after. Yeah, I don't think that works with a single linked list, so we're not going to do that. Um, so that's about it. Let me do, do, I do remove head. Remove after. Okay, cool. So I think I've implemented a full implementation of a singly linked list. If you guys enjoyed it, give, us, give it a thumbs up and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will test it out for us real quick. So we'll save our singly linked list equals a new um, linked, linked list. Make sure this works. So here we'll do single linked list. Now insert, we'll say five. Make sure this works. Is it not five? Insert after, sorry. Insert after, three and five. And so what happens here? Tally property next to null. Here we can say if not this dot hit, then we can just say this dot hit equals a node with the value. And return this. Okay, so that should work actually. Um, Console.log. Singly linked list. Let me look at this real quick. So what we actually get here is right here, singly linked list. Yeah, we get next to null and a value of five. Okay, cool. Um, singly linked list. Uh, insert after. And we'll say one and three. Console.log list one and three. Oh well it's just a head right single link list and again it's kind of hard to see it here but if we create this method linked list dot prototype dot print is a function and here we can just console turn console dot log this dot two string and here we can actually just do cvsslist.print prototype. It's an object object, so it's kind of hard to see there. But if we do this.head.toString, get rid of that right there. So it is a next 
with a value insert after three and three. We'll go back here. So insert after rock current. If current is equal to rough node, console log true. And we'll do this to make sure this works. So if current insert after function takes a rough node and a value. Um, all right, make sure that this is even working. Object to object. It's not seeming to be working. Okay. So let me console.log this. Undefined. Insert after. Let me put this one in here. This should just be adding it to the head right there. Yeah, that's what it does. Insert after, okay. So let me look at this a little bit more. I know I have the implementation right. So we'll test it out in the next video if I make one, but feel free to test it out for me. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, have a great day.